There are several reasons why the DACA decision is so eagerly anticipated. Let's start with the fact that there are about 650,000 people who currently have uh, protection under DACA. That's protection from deportation, as well as the authorization to work. So there are a lot of people who might be affected by a decision. There's also the politics of the decision. Uh, President Trump, of course, ran for election initially on a fairly strong anti-immigrant uh, uh, platform. And uh, he tried to, to end DACA uh, pretty soon after he took office in 2017. And courts have basically prevented him from doing that since then. I believe that we will win. If the court rules that the president can end the DACA program as, as he wants to, uh, it's possible that Congress could take action. Now, there's not much time left in this Congress, uh, but there, there is that possibility, uh, assuming that the Democratic-led House and the Republican-led Senate could get together on something. Because after all, DACA is a very popular program, according to public opinion polls. The president could try again in the, in the few months left in, in this term uh, to do it. But it's also pretty likely that any effort to do so would be tied up in the courts, at least through the election and probably through the end of, of, of his term. Um, so that, that also could make it an issue in the presidential race. But it also means in all likelihood that people with DACA protections would be protected at least through the election. And the question is whether discrimination against gay and lesbian people uh, based on their sexual orientation and transgender people based on their gender identity counts as discrimination because of sex. Uh, in, in states without any protection, uh, you can't go to court and sue and say, um, uh, I was fired merely for, you know, being who I am. The 11 million LGBT people in the United States, of whom more than 8 million work. So this has very practical consequences for many of those people because only about half the states have their own protections uh, 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 against discrimination uh, against LGBT people. Um, so a court decision, for instance, that said that uh, you could sue under, under federal civil rights law would affect people in more than half the states.